This arrived about an hour ago. Um, my lovely wife kindly ordered this for my birthday. Um, feeling incredibly lucky, incred incredibly silly kind of, yeah. What a lovely gift. A Charvel DK24, um, fresh from Anderton's today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before. I'm struck by how small this box is, but I'm not particularly concerned because the good people at Anderton's have been doing their job for uh, very many years now, I think since, uh, what was it, 1960 odd or so. Anyway, so I'm just going to get to opening this up and having a look at what's inside. Now, these guitars don't come with any case. You can obviously see there's definitely not a flight case in here. Uh, they wouldn't be able to fit it in. There's no, um, no soft case with these guitars either. But I don't know what, you, what else you get in terms of kind of case candy uh, with these Charvels. So a nice big chunky bit of bubble wrap to stop the top from uh, getting knocked. And the first thing I can see is very encouraging. It's a whammy bar. So we have the whammy bar attached to this piece of uh, cardboard that's protecting the headstock and transit. And we have some Allen keys for setting things up in here as well. There's not a lot of uh, packaging around here, but I can just see the guitar now. It's wrapped up in a nice styrofoam bag. Nothing else in here. So we'll lay that to the side. No cares, everything looks fine. Just an elastic band holding it all together. Roasted maple neck looks absolutely lovely. Locking tuners, everything looks absolutely fine here. Squeaky plastic bag. So as you can see, I went for the uh, army drab in um, HSH configuration. Sorry, I just paused there because I was looking at the the trim isn't, it's a little back, a little further back. I thought it would be absolutely horizontal with the body, but I don't think the photographs of this guitar online do the colour justice. It's, it's gorgeous, it's very, very nice. Um, it is a matte finish, so it's going to get shiny uh, from arms rubbing on it or so. Uh, but it's slightly darker than I think and much more just you know, much more colourful. I know it's army drab, it's green, but it kind of, it's, it's kind of much more colourful than I expected it to be. So, will the guitar be in tune? <laughs> no. No, of course not. Uh, so time to grab a tuner then. Um, I'm not going to review it just now. I'm really just unboxing it um, and I'll do a, a full review in the next couple of days and get that posted. First impressions, yeah, it's lovely. Very, very nice. I'll tune it up. It's actually just a little flat. This might account for the, uh, the trim. Yeah. Okay, so right out of the box then. Looks lovely. I'm quite surprised at a couple of things. Um, one... Yeah, okay, the neck is described as being a uh, slim neck. It's a, it feels, it feels less, uh, it feels very thin to me. Uh, I mean, I, I do tend towards playing sort of like kind of thicker necks, but um, it's not as wide as my 80s Fender Stratocaster. Um, it's nowhere near as chunky as my American Special Stratocaster. It's a comfortable neck, it's lovely, it's a really nice feeling material. Um, this is an unboxing so I shouldn't really be doing any review just now, but the other thing that caught my eye was that I think the action on this guitar is, is really quite high. Now I'm just going to check this, I brought my rule to find out. So at the 12th fret without any uh, fretting at all, it's actually two and a half, two and a half millimetres, uh, which is a little... A little high, 
Um, I'm not sure what the relief's like. Yeah, there's there's quite a lot of relief. So this is going to need um, truss uh, adjustment, and it's going to need a minor setup. Okay, that's all for now. I'm not going to review this any further. It does seem to make a noise, but I think it's this thing moving. Every time I pick it up, it feels like the neck's adjusting or moving, but it's not. It's solid. Um, okay, so as I say, that's that's all that I'm going to say about this just now. I'm not going to review it just now. It was just an unboxing um, and expressing a couple of little niggles that I have with it. Um, see you next time. Hi, Craig here again. So, as promised at the very beginning of this video, I said I would say some important things about the quality of the finish on this guitar. Before I do, um, I will say that the guitar is going back. The Andertons have been absolutely fantastic. Um, they were very, very uh, helpful when my wife phoned this morning. Um, there was no quibble whatsoever. Um, a replacement is being ordered and it will be sent out as soon as it arrives, at which point I'll send this one back to them free of charge. So thank you very much to Andersons, uh, Andertons for organising that. So, why am I sending it back? Okay. When I tried to look at this guitar to uh, get some points for review, some of the issues that I'd mentioned before uh, just paled into significance with some of the problems that I could see with the instrument. The first, there was a dent in the instrument. Um, I've no idea where this happened, but as I said in the, in, in the review, or the, the unboxing, the box itself is very, very, it's just very flimsy. There's, there's nothing to it. Um, I'm used to seeing guitars packed in much, much heftier boxes filled with padding and packing. There was no padding and packing in this box. There was just uh, this, this plastic bag that you saw me take uh, out of the box. Um, the guitar it was bouncing around inside there as well. So there was a dent in the guitar. The next issue that I found was that the guitar had plectrum rash. So it had been played. Um, I don't know for how long, I don't know um, under what circumstances, but the basically around here probably won't see it on camera, but I can see it here. It's a brand new guitar, it should not have scratches uh, here, nor should it have a dent here. Although it's a very small dent, it's a brand new guitar. It's not a two or three hundred pounds guitar, and even if it was, I wouldn't be happy if it arrived with a dent. One of the other serious issues that I had with this guitar was that the frets are very unevenly finished. Some of these frets are really sharp on the edges, and they protrude quite away for a fret. Uh, out from the, the neck of the guitar, from the fingerboard. Um, so it was quite uncomfortable to play. Um, one of the more serious issues as well, I had an issue with the nut at first, it's not the same issue that I had, but the nut has been badly cut. The E string is cut higher than the uh, B string, so the B string actually falls lower. Um, it has lower action on the B string than it has on the E string. That might not seem like um, a big deal, but when, you, when you're playing the guitar, when you skip from the B to the E string, it's, it's above, it's above the, the B string, which makes it really quite uncomfortable. Um, some of the other issues, the guitar has, the frets have not been finished in a way that uh, allows you to have a reasonably low uh, setup, which I prefer, uh, such that when fretting notes down here, uh, the guitar starts to, it picks up resonances, fret buzz uh, and all the rest of it. I did a minor adjustment on the, the truss rod to, to straighten the neck slightly because the relief was far too large. Um, I got the action down to 1.5mm on the E here and 1.5mm um, on the, the, the high E and yet still this, this guitar is buzzing. This should not buzz. This guitar should be able to have super low action. Um, and 1.5 is factory spec, that's basic for a Fender factory guitar. Um, so I, I'm not particularly happy about that either. Okay, these are the issues. I uh, mentioned them to uh, Andertons, and Andertons were very, very helpful, so I'm very, very grateful to them for that. Um, I will review the guitar fully when I receive a new one. Bye bye for now, thanks for watching.